doing the exact same thing we just got through doing with that. So because the fact that we're doing the picture to be the exact same size. So again, I'm lining this up, the zero on that line to the 10, and then every inch, I'm going to go through and make a tick mark. Now remember, because of the fact that this is our drawing paper, this is what our final artwork is going to be on, we want to make sure to draw these very, very lightly. It's a good habit if you hold your pencil, like I'm holding it here, with the butt of the pencil kind of resting, lightly resting on your, uh, kind of that fatty tissue right there, and very loosely in your, your hands like this. And because uh, what that does is that helps you naturally reduce the pressure, whereas if you're holding it like this, you're much more prone to press hard, right? Like if you're writing. So just kind of kick it back and kind of rest that butt of the pencil right there. Okay, so I got my one inch marks all the way down. Now remember, drag it straight down. We want to mirror it and lining it up, the zero, the 10, making sure that it's straight along with my line there as best I can, can get it. And then going through tick marks very lightly because again, we will want to erase these whenever we're done with our drawing. Okay, so now we've got top and bottom. Now we're gonna rotate and now I'll do the six inch ones. Same thing, lining up the zero and the six and making sure it's straight and lightly making those tick marks at the one inch marks. And dragging it straight down and lining it up again. Okay, so now we have all of our tick marks that now we need to go through and connect them. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and start with these since again, what's where we left off at. Now again, make sure you're holding your pencil very lightly. And with this one, the best way to do it is make sure you're holding your ruler very firmly, like that, at both ends of the ruler, not just on one end. And you're going to basically just drag, so kind of hold your pencil there and just lightly drag it down the ruler, putting basically no pressure at all on it, just letting the pencil drag across the paper, okay? So we'll go to the second one, line it up, and lightly drag it across. Okay, so that got all of those guys. So you can see that they're very light. You can barely even see them on the camera. Um, and that's a good thing because, like I said, we need to be able to erase those. The worst thing in the world is once you get done getting your beautiful drawing finished and then you go to do all your shading and you see these white lines that are in the shape of a grid where you had done it at. So make sure that you're doing it very lightly because you don't want to ruin your drawing by pressing too hard with your grid lines. Okay, so lightly drag. Okay, so there are all of my grids, my lines there. Okay, so now what we're ready to do is we've got all the exact same lines drawn onto our paper of where we're going to actually draw it at. Okay, so now another little trick that you can use to help you keep up with where you're at um, is going to be numbering and lettering these okay so if you want to start with numbers you can it doesn't matter it's up to you but or you can do letters so a b c d e f g h i j okay and then on this side we'll do numbers so one two three four five six okay so now anytime that we need to be able to say you're drawing and you forget wh which square you're in, you can always locate it by saying, okay, I'm right here. I'm in this square. And then so you follow it up. You're in F and then you come back to it and four. So you're in F4 is the block. Okay. So then that way you can find yourself um, on where you're at in the drawing. So you can do that on this paper to match it. So we did the alphabet across the top. So again, remember, do this very lightly because you definitely don't want letters and numbers on your fi finished drawing. So again, holding your pencil with the butt of it in the part right here and just barely, barely putting it on there. I, J, okay. And then same thing, we'll turn it this way and number it one, two, 
three, four, five, six.